Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a video for you guys. So, um, well, it's a um, Apple CarPlay kind of. So it's an Android box. So it's one of these. Um, I'll link in the description box below for you guys. So um, I don't know if you guys seen my Audi video where I've connected this to the Audi. And um, I basically got the Android home menu there. So you've got the Play Store, you've got all the apps you can download and things like that. And obviously it works whilst you're driving and everything. And um, I wanted to give it a go on the Mercedes. So how this works is you have to have um, factory uh, Apple CarPlay. So from the factory and it has to be hardwired. Be um, yeah, so from factory it has to be hardwired the Apple CarPlay to make it work. So what happens is the car is going to think that this is actually getting connected to um, an Apple CarPlay device. But what actually happens is um, you actually get the whole media interface so of the box. So this is the latest one. So it's got Android 9 on this one, which is really good. And it's got a fast processor. Sorry about the mess here for you guys. Um, so what I'm gonna do is connect this box. So you can see I've got the USB here. Um, I've done, uh, well, the unboxing I've kind of done on my Audi video. So if you go, if you do guys want to see that, you guys can check it out on my other video. It does come with a USB-C cable as well. So if, if you want to use a, well, if your car does USB-C, it actually comes with it so obviously this car's got the normal USB A which I'll be using so it's really simple plug and play so you can connect it so I'm gonna put that in there so you can see the lights coming up so it's gonna take about a few minutes for it to um, recognize obviously connecting it for the first time it takes a bit of time and also to make obviously work you can either use your built-in cars internet or you can have um, Apple while well, your uh, hotspot. So you can see a new Apple CarPlay device has been connected, connect automatically, and then obviously just accept it. So accept starting Apple CarPlay. Now this is the best part because it's a Mercedes with a wide screen, so you can see how big that screen is. So you can see it's just obviously um, setting up. So you know, the first uh, size was probably for my Audi, so I'm not really sure. It's the same box you see you can using from my Audi. So you can see how big that is. This just looks, looks it just is just amazing. So you can see full screen from there all the way to there and clear, crystal clear. So you can use the swivel wheel or you can even use the touchpad here. So you can see, go down, swipe with that or use that as well. So if we go to more apps. So you can see these are all the ones I've actually downloaded um, on here. The wicked thing, well, the amazing thing is that I can watch Netflix or YouTube. So as you can see at the moment, there's no Wi-Fi connected. So if I quickly go back and then go to setting and then wireless LAN. So you can see it does it does find the Mercedes uh, hotspot, but I actually haven't got that. So what I'm going to do is, obviously, um, if you are using your hotspot or your car's Wi-Fi, you got to change the password to to one two three four five six seven eight because that's the only one that it'll actually connect to. So I'm just going to quickly change the password. I'm going to put my mobile hotspot on, and I'll show you guys how easy this is. Okay, so I've just changed my uh, password to one two three four five six seven eight. Now I just gotta find my one. So I really like the fact that this is a full screen. Very happy with that. Having it full screen is amazing. And um, also um, it does come with a controller. So you can see, and a keyboard there. So if you do need that, that is available. So you can see, just use that. So if I press back, wireless. So I've managed to actually finally find my um, iPhone. So it was actually to do with my phone because I switched um, the Wi-Fi off for some reason. It didn't find it. So I'm not really sure why. But yeah, so I've just done it with this keyboard. So enter. So I'm just going to press the tick here. And then connection. So now it's going to connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, so you can see the that's now connected on Wi-Fi. So if I press that, there's a tick there by my name. So just press back and then let's go to, let's go to Netflix, just to show you guys how this looks. 
because um, I am loving this thing on my Audi and I am so glad that I got this. It is very good. And the fact that it works on the Mercedes as well it is amazing. They've got a list of cars that it works on. VW, um, there's Peugeot, I believe. There is quite a bit of cars um, listed, but um, I'll link in the description box below for you guys so you can ask or just check out uh, the lists that's compatible. Obviously, you know, it won't be 100 percent of cars because some cars don't actually accept it because i know with um the Vauxhall astra k it doesn't work for some reason even though it is a uh, factory carplay and it well uh, what's it called it's factory carplay and it's hardwired for apple carplay as well so i'm not sure why it doesn't work on the Vauxhall astra k so you can see oh, i'm on the kids one so if i just quickly just show you guys um let's just just press, press one random video let's just watch it i just want to show you guys the screen size of it let's just show you guys how it would look so the fact that it's compatible with a lot of different screen sizes it is amazing that it works as well like that so you can see there previously on beast morphers you need to ensure i don't run out of north axe So you can see that is clear so when you're watching it like that you can see that the stream wheel doesn't can, um, just block that side so it's right in the middle large screen so let me quickly sh do another video just to see if there is anything else yeah, let's go this one king of the apes So having the remote it just makes it um, a lot easier but then again if you've got a car that's uh, compatible with touchscreen that will also work so you guys can use that so you can see the screen is like that but there's a big screen very good quality as well i don't know if the camera is doing any justice but very good quality so that's that so we'll quickly go to yeah, let's go to BBC News just to show you guys how that looks. So obviously depending on the, uh, the apps that you have, it will depend on the screen size. You can see here BBC News is full screen. So you can see there. Use the... And basically how that works is you literally press OK and pull it up. So you can see it works like that. So if I press back here... Let's go to YouTube and let's load up a video just to see um, how that looks as well. So I bought this for £280 I believe. I am glad I bought it, I'll tell you that. It is very good. So obviously this is the Mercedes E-Class. It works with the C-Class, obviously it has to be the one with the Apple CarPlay. So let's do this video. So we're going to add them. You can just see how clear that is. And then skip. Which is the quickest two litre, four cylinder, turbocharged German hot hatchback over the standing quarter? There you go. So if you want to well, zoom it in, find out today because we're putting you've got a full screen of the bar. Obviously, it does. Um, against the BMW M135i the Mercedes AMG A35 back onto that obviously this is the normal um, size but you can get it zoomed if you did want it but having it like that is perfect because when you're driving or you're just sat here as you can see your steering wheel just covers that bit and obviously it doesn't cover that because obviously it's just about half the screen very good happy with that and 400 newton meters of press yeah on that so yes, yeah, so you can download more apps, you can open, so if I go here, open Play Store. Open up Play Store. Opening Google Play Store. So there you go. Obviously, it just takes a few um, seconds to actually load up and everything. But once it's all loaded up, you can see you can download so much games. You can download apps, videos. Well, videos in like video, uh, the media ones. 
So there's a lot of things you can download. You can search for apps and everything like that, games, you know, wherever you can think of really. Um, it's really good. And the fact that it's full screen, you can see that it just looks so much nicer. I do really like on the Mercedes. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys um, how that looked on the Mercedes. It works on the Audi, as I showed you guys on my previous video. And um, yeah, very happy with that. It works perfectly. You can see the version here. Android version 9. So obviously there's not any other company who does that. So I'm very happy and glad that I got it from this one. So um, yes, yeah, so well, like I mentioned, I'll put the, uh, the link in the description box below for you guys. So if you guys do want to buy one, you can go ahead and uh, buy one from, from there. So um, that's everything. Obviously you can do so much more. You can do phone cast. Whoops. Ooh, how did I do that? Nice. So if you just hold on it, you can add um, all that to your home screen, I believe, which is pretty cool. So you just literally hold on to that. Um, but yeah, you can customize all that. But very good. I'm very happy with that. It just looks really nice to look at as well. It's nothing too thingy. So, but yeah, very happy with that. So obviously, I've got Chrome here. I even got Nest for my camera. I just got speed test as well. But there's more apps you can download, but I just, obviously, I just downloaded these stuffs. But very happy with that, and um, hopefully this helped you guys out as well. So if you are thinking of this, you know, go ahead and get it. It is amazing. And uh, the fact that it works with the screen as well looks wicked. And um, full screen, obviously, it's going to crop it out a bit, just like um, any phones, it'll crop it out a bit as well. But obviously, if you just have it in a standard position, very good high-quality video, and it's perfect as well, so it doesn't block here. And the viewers will like it as well, so if you've got passengers, they'll love it as well. Very good, very happy with that. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.